Hey Dave, how you doing, man? I'm doing well. Good. You just came off a gig here at the uh, Blues Showcase. At the uh, mecca of the <laughs> universe. Blues Music of the mecca universe. of the Absolutely. universe. That's yeah. right. That's Thank you so much. Great gig as always. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself. What? Uh, when did you start playing first, Dave? A million years ago. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was uh, probably four or five when I first got a hold of my dad's guitar. He played uh, old country. Uh, and uh, my brother, I was the youngest of four, so my other brothers played and they introduced me to rock and roll and things like that. Wow. Uh, but it was, yeah, I was, I was probably four or five when I first got my hands on it. I think I was 13 when I said, this is what I want to do. Yeah. I was 16 when I joined up with some guys in their 20s and started playing in the bars. And that was several years ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what brought you to the blues though? Well, I've actually been playing the blues a lot more than I realized, you know, as a kid with the rock and roll, and then sometime in my teenage years, I came across Stevie Ray Vaughan, okay. and the light went off. Yeah. yeah. What were your inspirations when you were young playing? Well, when I was young playing, it was, there was a lot of the rock, you know, and we're talking like Scorpions and that, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. rock kind of stuff and everything, yep. and, and, and everything. And then, of course, we got into Stevie Ray, and then we started going backwards. You know, we get into uh, Freddie King, and then we go back and back further and further and further. And now I'm doing the Fingerstyle, uh, Piedmont style stuff. And you, and you do it very well. You've won you multiple much. awards. Thank Unbelievable. Thank you. Uh, who are your inspirations today? Today, I mean, there's a lot of great players. Of course, Doug McLeod, the cool guy you yeah. introduced me to. Uh, Chris Smith has always been a big uh, songwriting and fingerstyle playing inspiration to me. Roy Bookbinder, of course, uh, Mike Dowling, and, yeah. you know, Chris Jakopsik. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> Listen to me closely. So here's the deal. Tell some younger artists what, uh, I mean, you're on tour, you do this full time. What do you have to do, I mean, to get the gigs, uh, to go on tour and to make it in this business as a musician. Well, it's tough. There's not. There's. There's just. There's not one thing. There's a huge gamut of things. Got gotcha. uh, Being professional is huge. You know, talent is a big part of it for sure. You need to develop your talent, not just raw, but um, so you need to hone your craft. Absolutely, every day. absolutely. You know, there's always room for improvement and things like that. You know. Um, Guard yourself against good reviews as well as bad reviews. You know, be honest with yourself as to whether or not you're hitting it right or not. Um, always look to, to, to improve. Hard work, dedication to it. You're going to work harder doing this than you are if you go get a job and work for someone else. You just got to be ready to do it at any hour of the day and night. And there's just a whole lot of work to do with it. What, uh, uh, you have a lot of gigs. Uh, when I look at your gig calendar, you're really busy. What's your website? It's musketmusic.com. That's M-U-S-K-E-T-T music.com. And we have it right down here on the screen popped up, so please look okay. under that. Um, tell me this. What does the future hold? What, uh, do you have focus on anything specific? Or? Absolutely. I'm making a live from the Slippery Noodle album in November with a acoustic oh, nice. band. Yep. Uh, it's basically me and my harmonica player. We've added an upright bass player, a guy who plays a lot of uh, um, brush work on the snare yep. drum and things like that. Uh, and then we're going to release that, I think, in February. And we're working with uh, uh, with a publicist from Memphis. Uh, gotcha. That's about all I can say about that right now because of the okay. East dry. Uh, <laughs> but we're really looking forward to uh, 2016 for sure. Wonderful. Hey, you know, uh, you're always welcome. You're playing here, what, three times next year at Taffy's? Yes, absolutely. Looking forward. Of those. Many, many blessings to you. Thanks for everything you do and give your talent to all of us. Thanks a million, Dave. Thank you, man. Thank you.